Okay, here we are, beginning of the trail. Uh, got about a half hour walk, 45 minutes. And uh, we'll be at the camp. Take a look around. Pretty much nothing but woods uh, for the next five and a half miles. We got about an hour and a half of sunlight left. So let's get going. Okay, here we are at the camp. Finally got the tarp squared away. Wind did a little, a little damage, nothing too bad. Uh, fire pit. I'm gonna uh, uh, hold on there. Yeah, I'm um, getting ready for a four day solo at the end of the month. It's gonna be uh, opening day, big game season in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to get myself some firewood going and uh, start collecting. All right, I'll be back at you. Beautiful day. As you can see, I kind of got a uh, makeshift fence. Doesn't really keep anything out, but it keeps stuff, little critters, from creeping up behind you. And uh, this is bear country. I get a lot of visitors. All right, let me start collecting some wood. Okay, so got some wood. A little more every time I come up. I figure by the time I come, it should be enough to get me through a couple nights besides, you know, what I collect on those days that I'm here. Uh, I don't know if you can see the sun is starting to go down. I don't know what time it is. Well, I left my phone back at the house. So. But uh, I'm going to get out my little chip boiler and I'm uh, going to make some coffee. Sit down in my chair. Check this out. Uh-huh. Made a tripod through a uh, an old net sack from some onions, and I'm good to go. You know, sort of like a hammock chair. All right, let me get the coffee pot out and shit. I'll be right back. All right, coffee time. I'm like a coffee junkie. <laughs> I got this little kit. This thing is great, man. All non-stick shit. Comes with everything you need. Except the coffee. And a little uh, propane tank. Thing fits in your pocket. Not half bad. And usually, I'll start a fire. But, uh, seeing as I'm not staying, you know, I don't see a sense. Just burn up the wood I just collected, so. But yeah, this thing's pretty neat. You just kind of hold all this crap out here. And, uh... Ah! <laughs> little jet boiler. One thing I go through is a lot of water. I don't know why. I'm always thirsty. You guys should go see a doctor about that. <laughs> Fuck that. Alright, coffee's on. In about three minutes. Guess I need something to drink in it. Alright, back at it. Come on. Cooks her, Scandinavian, hand carved. I don't know. Goes with the ship.
temperature's definitely going down with the sun. Probably in the high 20s. Oh, don't waste your money, piece of shit. <laughs> but uh, didn't cost me nothing, so nothing, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. Um, yeah, battery doesn't seem to last long. But it's good, you know. In the middle of the night, you wake up freezing your ass off, and you don't want to start sawing wood. You pull that little fucker out. Um, I try not to carry the gas chainsaw. So just too much to pack. And I gotta have gasoline and all that shit. Not for me. And you gotta cut up everything. You know, small enough so you can split it with a hand axe. Now that the shit's freezing, that should be pretty easy. A lot of trees. It must have been big windstorms because I see a lot of new trees down. So uh, I guess I'll have wood for quite a while. Never leave your garbage in the woods. You pack it in, you pack it out. I hate that, man. I see garbage in here all the time. People throwing their water bottles and shit. Although back here ain't too bad. Not too many people venture back this far. There's really not much of a trail to speak of if you don't know where you're going. Uh, and you don't bring a compass with you or a GPS. You know, I keep my little handy GPS with me. Yeah, just in case. But uh, I've been back here 26 years. Pretty familiar with the area. You know, I'm um, not saying that I haven't gotten turned around, but you, know, you always find your way home. Hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, coffee's almost ready. This thing is fantastic. You know, boils water in five minutes. You know, everything's non-stick. Look, then comes with silverware. You know, what could you ask for? You can throw it in, a, in your hip bag, and you're good. I didn't, uh, I didn't plan on staying all night, so still got to go home and make dinner. That's it. We're good. Yeah, coffee. What would you do with that? Kind of missed the cup. That's me. I think. Seeing as I'm alone. Uh, give me a minute. I got something here for me. Somewhere in here. Ah. The real kit. <laughs> I gave up drinking. Uh. 33 years ago. Probably a good thing for everybody. Um, uh, wasn't having a good effect on me. So, But uh, always been a smoker. I don't see anything wrong with it. Some people may object. But, uh, shit. Almost legal everywhere now. Uh, and, uh, keeps me calm, keeps me level headed. Nothing like a good pipe and a smoke when you're up here. Right now all you hear is the wind. I don't know if you can even hear my voice. It's kind of windy. Really good bud. <laughs> okay, yeah. Pace of smoke the best. <laughs> Oh, mama. <laughs> but yeah, it's bow season right now. Um, didn't get my permit this year. <coughs> Been busy with life. Saw a nice eight-pointer last night coming up, standing on the road. <coughs> Yet to see anything here since I've been up today. Um, I don't see anybody hunting. <coughs> 
big chunk of state land. Um, five miles headed this way, <coughs> southwest, is a uh, lake. <coughs> One trail, a uh, service trail that runs through the woods, roughly five miles. <coughs> you got to follow the trees, the dots on the trees. And uh, apparently, they don't repaint the dots all the time, and the trees aren't always there where they're supposed to be. <coughs> so it takes a little longer. Um, big campsites. This whole area at one time, or since actually from what I'm told, uh, Civil War days, this was an artillery range, and they used to harvest the ice out of the lake and ship it down in rail cars down to Florida for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, all through the area, there's... Um, Little cemeteries, blue and gray. <coughs> Those are pretty cool. Um, you see people making etchings on the uh, on the gravestones. So, hmm. a lot of history up here. Um, a lot of Civil War reenactments, which are really cool to watch. You know, um, never gotten involved myself really. Although I could see myself getting into it, you know, like everything else I do. I go full blown. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, looking forward to hunting. Hopefully we get a bunch of guys in the woods. You know. I hunt solo. I camp, I camp solo. But uh, a lot of hunters in the area. A lot of guys come up to the community. So hopefully they'll kick something up, you know. And uh, I figure, hey, what better way to do it? You wake up, you're here in the woods. You know, I'm not, uh, not going to be hiking around. I'll sit here with my fire, you know, do my thing. And uh, if I see anything, uh, <coughs> I'm not into uh, hunting does anymore. I uh, don't really need all the meat, you know. If I do get something, I'll most likely keep the back straps and donate the rest, you know. <coughs> a lot of donation stuff going on up here with the, with the hunting. You know. A lot of needy families. So, you know, hey, what the hell. But, uh, yeah, getting nippy. Running out of daylight. Daylight savings time. Stupidest shit I ever heard. <laughs> I read this uh, this quote from a, an American Indian. It's some chief. I don't, I don't recall his name. But he said, Only the government could think that if they cut a foot off the top of a blanket and sewed it on the bottom, that the blanket would be a foot longer. And apparently... That's the idea behind daylight savings time. Although, uh, not everybody bides by it. I heard Arizona doesn't, which I don't understand how that works with the rest of the country. And uh, a friend of mine told me uh, up in Saskatchewan, they don't abide by daylight savings time either. So, you know, I guess you could leave on an airplane flight at 12 o'clock and show up in Arizona around 11.15. <laughs> Just kind of weird. You know, how you schedule anything like that is beyond me, but yeah, that's the government. You know, I'm not fully in support of, but uh, you know, Trump, go oh, Trump. That's my boy. I know not everybody agrees, but you know, uh, less government, happier people. I believe in that. You know, but uh, we shall see what happens. 2020. You know, that's all we can do. But, uh, ooh, man. Stop moving around, you get a chill. But, uh, finished the coffee, head back down to the house. Took a big-ass steak out. <coughs> Expected some friends to stay, but they decided to head home. Yeah. Nasty coming up last night. Took me four hours to get here. Pouring, pouring rain. Got up this morning, fresh snow, which is always a blast. Yeah. Uh, came too soon. You know, we used to be uh, four seasons in this area, and now it just seems like summer, winter. We went from 80 degrees to, uh, I was here two weeks ago, I did an overnighter. It was 50 degrees in the afternoon, I woke up, it was snowing. You know, so, go figure. But, you know, that's the mountains, man. Love it or leave it. Okay, I'll get back at you in a few.
out. Sun's just about going down. You know, I really don't feel like being out here. All I brought was my headlamp. And uh, I guess that's it. Real thick back here. Bow season, you gotta be up close. You know, if you're not close, uh, a lot of uh, shit to stop your arrow. But yeah. So. Let me get your shot guide here. Selfie stick. <laughs> Pretty hot shit. Huh? I'm getting, uh, I'm getting techy. Yeah, getting hungry. I just got off a cheeseburger down at the snack bar down in the community before. Good friend of mine, Sal. Another biker. Uh, I believe he's from uh, the Bronx. But, uh, yeah. Ah, I'm glad I got out for an hour or so. I have to add a little more firewood to the pile. Uh, yeah. And everybody's wondering, uh, the anorak I'm wearing, uh, found a guy on the internet, hand makes him, 100% wool, he's also a resident here in Pennsylvania, his name is Toby, he's a minister, calls himself the Wandering Parson, really nice guy, great customer service. Um, He'll talk to you in a minute. He'll answer you back in 20. Uh, I found him on Etsy.com, which is, I found a great site for um, like one-off bushcraft equipment, handmade knives, uh, leather bags, stuff like that, from all around the world. Um, that's where I got the cooks, sir. Um, I think it was Scandinavia or Denmark, one or the other. Uh, Viking, uh, Viking land, but uh, a little pricey. But uh, if you're looking for that one special item, nobody else has Etsy. You know, for anything, pretty much, it's like a, a worldwide flea market sort of. Really cool place. Really cool place. This here, uh, seeing as I'm on the edge of the state land. I don't know if you can see that up behind me. That is an old crane from, I believe, the early 50s, or what's left of it. Um, this was supposed to be part of a community, and they opened up some roads way in the back there, but are pretty much grown in now. Um, I'm on what used to be a logging road. Um, I don't know if you can see that back there, but that's pretty much the trail. Um, a little easier to make out when there's leaves on the trees. Once everything's brown, hard to find. But uh, cool little field. Every now and then I come by here and there's a uh, red fox. <laughs> and uh, he's always blasting around over here. Also see that somebody was bow hunting. But uh, pretty much the only open space around here for quite a while. A lot of guys post it. I don't know if they're getting anything, but I, uh, I'd imagine, all right? Why post it if you don't see anything up here? You, know. um, you don't really see an overabundance of deer up here. A lot more bear than you do deer. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was walking in on this trail, same trail, and uh, came up, had lunch, made a steak, coffee, sat around. Beautiful day, and. Uh, Kept thinking I heard shit, you know, thinking that squirrel. So I decided I'm gonna walk out, and on that same trail, maybe 60 yards from where I was sitting, and a uh, whole fresh pile of bear shit, you know, full of corn. People are feeding them, you know. And this time of year, you'll see them more around people's houses and dumpsters than you will in the woods, because they know that's where they're getting food, you know, which is kind of sad. You, know, you get them conditioned and 
nobody's around to fume. You know, they go south. You start breaking into people's homes and shit, which happens here often. You know, a lot of mobile homes. Um, this is originally supposed to be a campsite community, and I guess over the years it's developed into more or less a uh, mobile home park in the woods. Pretty cool. Um, you can ride your ATVs and golf carts and all kinds of shit up here. Uh, since my kids grew up, pretty much sold all that stuff off. You know, it's just me. And, uh, you know, I got the bikes. So I'm either riding the bike or I'm up here hiking. Uh, I try not to spend much time at the house. It's more fun up here. I'm kind of at ease up here. Living in the city. I just don't like it. Too many people, too much traffic, too much bullshit. You know, you can't open your window and sleep. Fucking ambulances and fire engines going by all the fucking time. Uh, excuse my French. That poly roof. Um, I don't expect anybody to see these but me, so. I just look back and laugh at what a goofball I look like walking through the woods talking to a stick. <laughs> Better than not talking to anybody at all, right? So, <laughs> this will be fun to watch on when I get home tomorrow. I'll probably come back up here tomorrow afternoon, cut a little more wood. It's supposed to be a little bit longer. The tips of my fingers are fucking aching. So, all right, I'll hit you back up at the house.